Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode here on the 77th Combined. I'm Tazel. How you doing? We are back here once again at the base uh, to finally get around to doing the builds that I've been meaning to get to here to fix things. Uh, last episode we did get that nice wonderful little cactus farm in place and in such a short little time we have no 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 cactuses yet uh we do have 29 here so not too shabby uh also we have none there and none there and i'm assuming yeah none there but you know what? It is slowly filling up, and that's sort of how that that works. I haven't really been back here much. I've been running back and forth between here and the store in order to fill up things. So our portions, our potions are, are filled up, uh, fire resistance, and you know speed and, and whatnot. Uh, bows. Have you filled up all my bows and? I've even added now glistening melon to the the shop, so all very nice stuff. Uh, but we do have some stuff when I was uh, configuring and moving and arranging things. It's this. So I noticed I take out all the, you know, armor and I take out all the potions. And I take out all the bows that I want to take and then I have to throw all of this junk onto the ground. That's a pain. <laughs> that's 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 very much a pain. Uh, I did notice that hey, there is cactus right here. Cactus destroys things. So what I think I'm going to do um, as one of the things we're going to do in this episode is we're going to fix these two features. This one we're going to put one in place and this one we're going to fix. Uh, but the concept is going to be the same. So this is this one over here uh, is the return valve. So basically things that I, you know, they get through the, the whole circle and don't actually get filled up like this honeycomb, some phantom membrane, etc. Iron it's just because either things came through or something went wrong. And I flick that switch. It goes back down into the system, does a loop and then it's back in. And the exact opposite I'm going to do here. Once I take out all the things I want, I'll flip a switch and it'll spit out all the remaining items into cactus right down there below, destroying the items and I don't have to wait for it to despawn, which would be nice. So we're going to do that. Uh, so those those two things should be fairly simple. This one might be a little harder just because uh, the reason I need to redo this is every so often that gets caught there. Um which is a bit annoying. Uh, it might actually be s as simple as just placing a glass block there. Uh, that way it goes through the glass block and then goes down. But we'll, we'll have to experiment with how this, how the best way to deal with this is, because I don't want to have to redo all the redstone and everything else down there. This one should be far, far simpler. So that's, that's two things I want to do. Third thing I want to try to do is get the sheep farm feature up and running. Uh, up way, way up there. We need to get the sheep in place so that way we can start getting all our wool and everything else along those lines. And the last thing I think I'm going to try to do is a chicken cooker. Now, chicken cookers are, are fairly straightforward and simple. Um, and we have tons of eggs. We have, you know, tons of raw chicken. In fact, all our meat is, you know, I really should probably cook up some of this. Oh, no fish. Oh, tons of raw salmon. No cod. I know cod. What? How is that possible? Salmon. One cod. What? What? How are we getting tons of salmon, but no... No cod. I wonder if this is... Oh, you salmon only spawn in a river? Uh, this might technically be a river, not an ocean right here. Oh, man. Okay, well... Bleh. Yeah, the last season, I think I was on the, the ocean itself. 
And yeah, okay. Well, that's just frustrating. Anyway, I'm uh, sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, so a chicken cooker is, although we might just put there we go. Um, so a cooker of some sort would be good. Uh, right now, I'm kind of, you know, cooking potatoes and my meat manually, but having something that just automatically cook a chicken, drop it down there, and then it gets filtered into my system would be quite lovely. Um, in fact, I can, you know, put it right here, and I'll just get rid of the cod, because the cod isn't working. But, yeah, so I think those are the, the things we're going to try to attempt to do this episode. We'll see how many we actually get done, because you know how things get. There's always something that ends up happening. Um, but yeah, this is this is still working pretty well. As you see, I'm up to 59 levels, and I even, I've even died <laughs> at this point. So... Yeah. Okay, so let me let me get some resources together and we will get on working uh these two things to begin with. I'll see you guys here in just a second. Okay. I've come up with a couple of ideas and I think I've settled finally on the one I actually like. Uh so I think I have everything I need in my inventory here. So let's first build the on off, and that's going to be. Oh, I need to. Oh, if I don't do this right, I'm going to lose this. <laughs> uh, so we break that, and we grab that. Okay. And I'm also going to need that gun. Nope. Oh. Okay, and that one, and that one. Okay. So I'm going to get some of those back. We're just going to put. That there. Going to put this one there. And that there. Oh, I need a I need a lever or lever. Uh which apparently I don't have any of. Really? Huh. That's uh surprising. Shoot. Okay. Well let me I have a lever work. Okay. Lever acquired. So we're just going to put that right over here. Which will allow us to turn off that clock when we don't need it. That's good. And also, if you notice, this still will be fully functional. There's nothing spawnable here. So that works great. Uh, next up is going to be crafting table. Uh, I was not aware of this, but apparently you can send a redstone signal through a crafting table. So that's going to go right there. So what we need is those two. So one's going to go there. So that's not going to interrupt the growth of the cactus. Uh, the other one's got to go right there. Okay. Wonderful. Good, 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 good. Uh, now, how am I going to do this part? I actually need to get down. I need to get further down. Um. Uh, I didn't think this through. Uh, okay, let's grab some of those. And uh, if I do, you know what? I'm just gonna do that. Breaks that, but I can always place that back. In fact, I can grab that right now. All right, so I got that back. I need to break that as well. So, down here, we're going to be throwing things onto this cactus. So we're using a dropper because we don't want to shoot arrows or, um, you know, if anything in here that can... Oh, I got destroyed. Okay. Um, anything that can be destroyed will go on here. But we don't want things that can be placed. So if this was a dispenser and somehow like a say a, a bucket of powdered snow got in there that would get placed instead of dropped and we don't want to do that so we have that there uh that actually needs to go away because i need to grab eh, i need to grab something i forgot to grab okay let's grab this. i need well might as well take them all i need some of 
those. Aw, oh, really? Mr. Skeleton? Is that really necessary? Yes, yes, yes. And this is why I like the vines. They can't climb them. I can't. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're back here again. Uh, that one's already been placed, so that's fine. Uh, we place one there. And I'm not going to place that one quite yet because that's going to mess up the whole system. Now, normally we need this here in order to break the items, but as you see, there's stuff still on either side of that. So that's going to free up that spot. We will take our redstone torch. Hop back down. Hopefully not get hit by any of those things. Put that there. And that now is going to permanently lock that hopper. So nothing's being taken out of the system. Um, well, except for when I placed that there before I got recognized. But anyway, so nothing's getting pulled out of that system. So that's going to allow me to actively, you know, do stuff here. Uh, let's just clean up the mess because we're. This is actually. Uh, oh, wait. I still need to put a piece of redstone there and there. So this essentially, once this is running, this will activate. This will turn this into a clock, which will allow things to start flowing through as well as be dumped out. So let's just put that out of the way. That out of the way. And we're going to lose those. But you know what? That's not a huge deal. Right. And yeah. So, oh, we need to move this still a little bit. So... Let me break that one there, and that one there. Oh, I need to place... Okay, so we're not quite done yet. We're almost done. We're almost done. So here... I need to move this over one block. So really, I should have gone over... Yeah. Over here. Okay, so I need to break that one and place that right. Nope, nope, nope. Let's try that again. Ah, uh, this is so much easier in creative mode. Um, you no, know, I might just need to flood this. Let's just break this temporarily. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, sure. Um, place that. There. Ah, that's why I wasn't doing anything. Okay, give me my last. Nope. Ah. Uh, well, this could have gone better. Come on. I don't want to break the whole thing. Um, I'm just going to grab you. And put that there. Okay. Yay. I bet that messed up my snow. Oh, it did not mess up my snow. Nice. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so that's there, that's there. We then move... Oh. Clean this up. That's all fixed. Uh, these now go over here and here. We take... Our hoppers, we place one there, we place one there, place one there. Uh, we might as well place one there. Uh, so this now will pick it up twice as fast, so that's good. Um, all these are still openable, so that's good. Theoretically, I haven't really increased my storage capacity here at all, because these all, you know, are back there. Um... Uh, in fact, I should probably... Eh, you know what? I'll, I'll see if that actually makes a difference, but... I don't... Ooh, that would have been... But... There we go. That's back in place. That's back in place. And, and yeah. So, in theory, nothing should be flowing out. So, that's good. Uh, if I take something out, it automatically refills. Okay. Also, good. Um, I should probably make this not spawnable, because right now it is spawnable, so if I take that and place it right 
there. I can still use the crafting table, but it's not a spawnable location anymore. Excellent. Let me dump all of this stuff back in. Like a zoo. Okay. And, oh, I do have some more class. Okay. So this is the this is the system. Uh, I just need to empty out everything that I would normally empty out. Wait, I thought I nope, that's my and yeah. okay. So I just need to take everything out that I would normally take out, and then I'll be right back to test to see if this thing actually works. Okay, and that's all done. Uh, as you see, I do leave some of the other bows in here because it's like unbreaking one, power one, you know, the lower level ones, um, you know, opposed to like these. Some of them are actually really, like that one is ridiculous. <laughs> that's, that's a, that's a pretty good bow to be <laughs> for a skeleton just to drop. But yeah, so if you're on the realm, <laughs> if you're on the server here, you, you might want to make some bows over at the shop uh, once I once I filled this stuff up over in the shop. Uh, but yeah, I get stuff like this often and it's just it's like, wow, that's crazy. Uh, anyway, so uh, potions have been moved over here. Um, and as you see, I drank the extra ones because I use those for the honey bottles. So, OK, so these are all in place. I got everything I needed out of it. Oh, we got some more. I'll just grab those for the time being. So then I go over here, and I think I do have to open this to get to it. I just flip that switch, and as you see, everything's just being emptied out. It's not the fastest thing in the world. Uh, there might be a way to get it faster. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but you know what? That 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 does that does the job. Some of them sometimes will like see like that, that one there. Um, some of them are falling off, but you know what? In the grand scheme of things, this is going to save so much time instead of me having to wait to do stuff. Uh, I just have to remember to... And it's done. I just have to remember to turn that off. I wonder if there's a way I can automate that process. Probably not. Not with my short little stuff here. Oh, as you see also, I, I put this in place... Um, I was realizing that some of the iron and, and stuff could fly off over here, so I need to block that off. But yeah, so that's that's all done now. Now I think I can modify this design over here as well. Now we have the additional issue here that I don't want this stuff to be bought. Um, and unfortunately, if I have it here, it activates. Um, I'm, and if I have it here, it's not going to work. So what I think I might do... Uh, hmm. not really sure what I'm going to do in this situation. Uh, I could lower it down. But then that would still... And part of the problem is the water flows out here and then this way. Otherwise, I'd say just put the dropper here. Uh, if I have the dropper spitting out this way, it'll end up just, you know, being caught there and being despawned. Uh, I don't think I really have a spot to make this work. Hmm. Okay, well, let, let me think on this. Um, I might even leave it maybe the way it is. There's got to be a way to tweak it, but... Yeah, um, let's let's get to the, our big project though, which is getting getting our sheep up there. So we're gonna have to find some sheep. It shouldn't be too difficult, and then get them up there, which is gonna be much more difficult. But that also means I first need to get the pens in place on both sides. Now there are 16 different colors in Minecraft, so I'm gonna need 16 pens, eight on each side. Uh, which works well for symmetry purposes. Uh, I just need to make them up high enough here so the iron golems spawn underneath them and then uh, do the whole grass and all that sort of stuff. So let me let me collect all the materials. We'll get the pens in place and then 
Uh, well, we'll have to find some sheep. Okay, and that is now all done and dusted. Now, we need to get some sheep in here. So, got some leads, and I built a little staircase. So I should just need to grab these two. And, come on. I just need them to follow me and hopefully not fall off. Um... Is already hushed. Okay, follow me up the stairs. Yes, yes. Okay, good, 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 good. So really, I just need two on each side. Ooh, there's another sheep. Uh, two on each side, and then I can breed them up, and then I'll separate them. Excellent. Come, come down here. Come down here. Come down. There we go. Okay, we're just gonna leash it here. Uh, let's grab you. Come on. Come down here. Um, nope, nope, come, go, here, thank you, okay, let's put you there, and let's get this all protected, wonderful, okay, so, well, and it's working already, <laughs> okay, that, that, that's good, um, okay, I'm gonna take a quick leap here, okay, and now that it's day again we just need to find some more um sheep or we can make some more sheep so let's 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 do that we can we can definitely make some more sheep we just need to grab some wheat let's go in here grab our wheat wonderful okay. sheep sheep make it the baby sheep Make it the baby sheep. Yay, baby sheep. Okay. So, as you see, while we're waiting on uh, either sheep to spawn or these guys to grow up, basically the idea is there will be a, a fence post here, 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 here. Wow, they're really eating. Good golly. Um, so, each of these sheep will be on a single spot. There's a observer back there that looks at this, sees when it becomes green, and also, more importantly, when it becomes dirt. When it becomes dirt, that means the sheep has eaten it, and in here, 
shears get it and it pops off a item which then falls down now it's not completely lossless there are there sometimes it does land like here um, in my testing I did find that sometimes it landed up here as well which is why now we have a I used to have a uh, fences this whole place but now it's a full glass block which not only is not spawnable but also helps prevent anything from popping off that way. Uh, I haven't seen anything actually ever fall on the fence part, but suppose it's possible. Uh, but yeah, I mean, for, for this little farm, it's, you know, fine. <laughs> I don't have to worry about minecarts underneath. I don't have to worry about, you know, any of that sort of stuff. Uh, I do have a piece of grass in between each of these dispensers, which helps the uh, spread of grass down here so that's always good uh, grass can spread about three blocks I think it is so one of these will be able to do both these sides as well as if for some reason there's grass here can spread over it this way as well uh, although usually that's going to eat that as soon as possible and well drop wool which apparently I picked up so yeah now we just have to Wait for two more sheep to get on the other way. So, yeah, let's do that. Yay, and more sheep. Two more sheep. Exactly what I need. Come. Yep. Hey, I'm here. Okay. So let's bring these two guys over this way. Come yeah, on. And, well, we'll just uh, beat that process. Okay, so as soon as I do this, I think that'll be the end of the episode. I'll have to wait for the chicken cooker and some of the other farms here in a bit. Uh, off screen, I will finish breeding up these guys and getting them color coded. Come on, come down this way. Come on, come over here. Come on. There you go. Good, good, good sheep. They really don't... There we go. Yay. Okay, so you stay there. Let me put that there. Yay. Okay, so let's just break both of those and give you some meat. Wonderful. Okay, so that's going to be three on each side. Just need five more. And we will be... We will be all set. And as I said, that's going to be the end of this episode here on the 77th Combine. If you've enjoyed this, be sure to hit that like button. And if you've really enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe. This is Tazel signing off from our new sheepy, sheepy mob farm here and our home base. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.